Hi everyone, hello and welcome to Happy Wednesday Dollar Tree Haul. I'm here, we are back. I hope everybody is doing really, really well. I am here on Crazy Days of Callan to give you Dollar Tree Hauls on Saturdays, Mondays, and Wednesdays. And so anybody that is here and brand new, welcome. Please, hopefully you will stay, subscribe, like, share, comment down below, and hit the bell notification. I have some fantastic things to show you guys, but first, I want to thank everyone for the outpouring of love for my little puppy dog. Um, she did take a thumbnail with me today, and she was just loving up her mama, so I took a picture with her just to show you guys that she is feeling better, and I thank you guys for all of the love, all of the prayers, and all of your unbelievable friendships that really impact my life and I love you guys so I have some great things for you guys today let's hit it I found these refillable hand soaps from soft soap brand and this is the gentle coconut um, this is the liquid hand soap refill and it's 32 fluid ounces it is a big jug it's for sensitive skin and it's hypoallergenic and um, I love it it washes away bacteria it says so this really, really big bottle right here, I did look it up to see if, you know, the price comparison outside of the Dollar Tree, I did find it right here for the same exact bottle, which is $2.98. That is the lowest price that I did find it for. So I screenshotted it to show you guys. It's more than a dollar. And again, my stores are still at a dollar. They are not yet a dollar twenty-five, but that's still less than two dollars and ninety-eight cents for this refillable hand soap. And it smells fantastic. So there's that. Then I found, then I found the gentle lavender in the soft soap. And this is also hypoallergenic. It washes away bacteria and it's 32 fluid ounces for sensitive skin. So here is the other option that I did find. But this bottle, actually I found it online for $8.95. And this was a rather difficult um, one to find. I don't know what that website is. I've never actually heard of that company, but I couldn't find this exact same bottle anywhere else and for the fluid ounces or anything, but for $8.95 from that website, and I just picked it up for $1. And again, this smells incredible. So I hope you guys find this because refillable soap is always like a hit for me. We use a lot of soap. I love to wash my hands. I love to Purell and sanitize all the time. And it's pretty necessary right now. Then I found these and I did look these up and it looked as though it comes from the Dollar Tree, but this smells really, really great as well. I don't know if I'm correct or not, but I did see a lot of listings for Dollar Tree to sell this in bulk of 12 so, for the price of $12 for 12 bottles. And this is the um, Yves St. Clair Bath Essentials. This is the French Lavender Bubble Bath, and this is 32 fluid ounces as well. And so I, in my house, I only have a stand-up shower which is unheard of for me. This is the first place I've ever bought and lived that I have not had a bath. I am a water girl. I love baths. Um, and I don't have that option in this house. So when we go away, to which we like to go away often, I bring all of my bath bombs, my bubble baths, and things like that. So when we're on vacation or a weekend away, that is when I take my tub time to like de-stress, bring my candles to border that tub. And I just enjoy my moment while we're away. And it kind of makes it nice because we're away anyways. Then I found another kind um, in the same exact brand as the last one I showed you. This is the vanilla. And again, this is another 32 fluid ounces of bubble bath. And this smells incredible as well. So I was really, really excited to find both of these options and restock in my stock room. I don't know if you guys have a stock room or a basement. Um, I'm obsessed with bookshelves to which I've just mentioned that to you recently. I love bookshelves, not only for a library type of purposes to hold books, but I organize with them. It's just been amazing to have bookshelves in my back room 
outside of my back door because it's just like one big space and we have bookshelves all the way around so that's like my overflow stock room but you could do it in you know whatever extra space you have even if you had one bookshelf it's really nice to organize in once you have overflow stuff if you're a dollar tree shopper like me and you just pick up those deals when you see them so speaking of organization that brings me right into the next subject I use this as my background today to show you that I am using these tubs, these organization bins that the Dollar Tree has just come out with. I've actually now, as of right this moment, picked up 23 of these. This is the flatter option, which is really long and wide, and it comes with these clips to hold in the lid. And it has this nice little handle on top. It snaps really, really good. The closure is excellent on it. And this is the flatter option. All of these organization bins came in either a pink, that teal looking color, or a gray for the clips and the handle. So this is the flatter option. And these ones right here are like the like taller and deeper little bins but I have organized my crafts to high heaven and as of right now I've only spent $23 and I have cleared out my entire craft area housed everything and I absolutely am obsessed with it because normally I get those really big tote bins from like Walmart for like $5 $6 and you can't see through them. So I've been housing all of my crafts inside of bins like that and stacking them up. But they're darker colors. So you have to take the lid off. You have to rummage through them. They're difficult to maneuver through the house once you pack them up. And you can't really get the idea of where you're going with your crafts. Because everything is kind of compiled into this big huge tote. So having these and it being a clear option is fantastic then i can just look through them find exactly what i'm looking for carry that one little storage bin over to where i'm comfortable crafting and that is fantastic fantastic i am obsessed i have moved my whole office space i've stored everything in my storage bins and this is like the best start of organization for 2022 I have ever had in any years prior. So there are 22 of these all the way down to the floor. And as you can see, it has quite a few of my crafting options that you can see right now, but it goes all the way down in the back of me and is doing a great job. So there is that. So I'm hoping that you guys are finding those organization bins because they are phenomenal. They are absolutely phenomenal. Now, let me just grab this bag. It's a little crunchy, as you can hear. Um, I found these sticker sheets. And where Valentine's Day is coming, I like to put together little gifts and stuff from my friends' kids. And just cute little baskets with, like, a cute little chocolate to go with it. One or two dollars and give a little valentine and i found these really adorable sticker books right here and these are brand new to my store store i have not seen them yet and this is a dog and kitty well this is actually an all types of animal little sticker book so this i just i opened it up and i saw these stickers and i was so excited so they have quite a few in here, but these are like puffy ones. And look at how cute and silly all of the animals are on there. It says it has 276 pieces. So to give this, you know, as just like a little gift, um, I think is so cute with the little chocolate on the side. And then this option as well. This one has 277 pieces of stickers and it looks like it's a princess theme. So this is really adorable. Again, just like the other one, it has several different layers of stickers inside. I won't show you every single one, but I will show you the top because that is kind of what really got me. And I just think that they are absolutely adorable. So 
several pages of all different types of stickers in those two books. I was obsessed. Or you can go and you can look at their book section, which if you've been here with me for a while, you know, I absolutely love the books, especially the children's books that come out at the Dollar Tree. They usually come in like a set of four most of the time. And I found this whole set today. And look at him. Griff learns to fly. And it is the sweetest looking book I have ever seen. So Griff is trying really hard to fly and he's he's going to learn at the end but this book is about not giving up see griff learn to fly uh learn to fly and those are all the four books that i was able to find so i was happy and then this one right here is scuttles um scuttles diamonds so how sweet is his cute little wonderful face and then inside, look at these pages, how beautiful they are. All of the pages are hard as well. So that is a really, really cute book that goes in this line of books. And then Augie the Grump. Um, so I love his little ogre face. He's so, so sweet. Even though he looks angry, I think he's a little hunk. And look at him. Look at that sad face. I turned to that page in the store and it almost made me cry. Look at him with the tears in his eyes. And then at the end, he is smiling. So I thought that that book is really, really sweet. Again, Valentine's Day. Books are a gift at any time. They're so important. And then this one is Flora's Magic Flute. And look at that little fairy queen right there. She's absolutely beautiful. How vibrant and beautiful are these pages. The illustration is just vivid and beautiful and engaging. So here is this book right here. So that's the four in that lineup. But then I found another four in a different series. It says, Do the Right Thing, a book about integrity. I love their books for learning tools, for values and morals to in instill in these kids. I, I just love them. They make me so happy. So here is this book right here. It's just really important teaching tools and lessons and, and reading. I Can Do Anything, a book about self-confidence. So... For $4, you could get the whole set, give that as a valentine with a little chocolate on the side, and that is really such a great little gift to give. Everyday Superheroes, a book about helping others. So, look at her. She She's adorable. Like, I, the illustrations are just, they make me so happy. So, here is this one. And so, there's that. And then I Am Brave, a book about having courage. So there that little guy is. And there are some pages here and there. And so all of these are hard books, hard pages, great values, and amazing little gifts to put together and encourage reading for a gift. Then I found these little game boards. Also great for gifting, Maze Labyrinth. And this is Are You Up For A Challenge? It says with a brain on the top. And these are awesome, I think. These are like these little handheld um, little, all right, let's see how we do it here. Let me see. So there has to be, I think you just kind of shake it and then you try to get the ball all through the maze up and out of the top or you start from the top and then you got to try to come down toward the bottom because it does say start and start so you got to get the ball up there and then drop it down but this is nice to like engage the kids in a little bit of an activity like in the car driving if you're going somewhere just to have this on hand I'm probably honestly going to sit and play with this all by myself and that's fine <laughs> Because I enjoy things like this. It's just like a little, you know, downtime. And I love that the princesses and the rainbow in, are in the background. So there's that one. 
And then this is the same brand right here, but this one has all pirates in the ship back there. And then again, start and start. So they hold it flat and they shake this through all of the maze to come out and down and through. So awesome, awesome pickups. Definitely check the Dollar Tree as I've always told you for gifting purposes. You can put together like the cutest little set for a gifting purpose just from the Dollar Tree and not break the bank. Then I found another Tom's brand um, for the hand soap. And my friend Caitlin, if you guys aren't somebody that scans the comments like when you're on my video, my friend Caitlin, she has informed us, I believe in my last haul on Monday, that there were I think five or six different um, scents in this Tom's brand. She also shared with us that between six and twelve dollars is what this normally goes for outside of the Dollar Tree. So this is a great hand soap. Tom's of Maine Gentle Lavender is the one that I found this time. So this is actually, I believe, the fourth scent that I have found. I found the Fresh Apple, I believe, the Blood Orange, and I found the blue one the last time, but I can't remember the name of it. And now I found the Gentle Lavender. So again, another hand soap. I, you can never have too many hand soaps up in this house, especially if they smell good. <laughs> you really, really can't. Then I went and I found these, okay? And so I've mentioned a couple of times that I'm out of work. Um, and due to my rotator cuff and also my Achilles tendon, due to like my hard driving florist um, distribution job. So I'm out of work for a little bit. I'm doing physical therapy. I'm working from home right now. I'm doing things that I need to do here, helping my husband with his business and I'm also going to start making my jewelry more consistently again. I've signed up for some craft fairs in the spring and in the summer so far. I have a couple of things that I'm lining up for that. So I want to get started on my jewelry making. I normally buy my little bags to contain the jewelry when purchases go through on Amazon. But I went into the baby section today. And I found these bags of little drawstring, little um, bags. There's eight in each. So 16 for $2, which is not horrible. And that would fit a cute little pair of earrings or a bracelet. So I picked them up right there. I got this, like it's like a yellow, yellowish green color. And I've never seen these in the baby section before. Uh, organza bags. That's what they're called. So I was so, so extremely excited to have found these. Then I picked up two of this color as well. And this is like a cream color. So there's two of this one. Then I also picked up two of the pink. So I, I, I'm definitely going to have plenty of bags now to be able to go. I just spent $8 um, and now I have, I have almost a hundred bags. So right here, I, and then I got the blue, these little drawstring bags and the measurements on them are three inch by four inch. So that made me so incredibly happy. I do have a lot of um, stock from before COVID when I had stopped selling my jewelry at craft fairs and through um, a website that I was on and a store local to me had a situation happen where it had to close down. So at, and after COVID, I haven't really promoted any of that, but now I want to get back into it and start making some sales and stuff and just getting my, my um, stock out so that I can start making more. And now I have my little, my little drawstring bags to put them in. Now this is from Crafters Square right here. And I loved these gold stickers. I think that they are absolutely, absolutely beautiful. 
The penmanship is fantastic. The writing, it, I just love the letters, the way that they're shaped and formed. And it says, you are my sunshine. It says, be awesome today. Be happy. You are loved. It says all of those amazing things. So I'm just going to save these for scrapbooking reasons. So I was really happy to have found those also. Now let's see where we're going to go next because I have so many cute things to show you and I'm just so excited to be here with you guys. I found these guys and I love the pet puzzles in the pet care section. And this is a brand new pet paw that I had yet to come across. I had been, I think I hauled the bone puzzle um, in this type of, you know, idea. It was shaped like a bone and it came um, with these little, these little sections where you have to sniff out the snack so that it's like a brain teasing puzzle for a dog. It says, play hide and seek with your pup, enhance your pet's IQ, find your favorite treat. Pet, I, pet IQ puzzle. So I picked it up in this auction right here that has like the heart, the bone, the little fish on it. And then this one has the same actually on those little on those little sections to play with for your puppies. And I think even your kitties could do it as well. Why not? So I picked those two up. I thought those were really cute for gifting purposes for like my friends that have dogs. My dog is really not like a playful dog like that. She's very like just wants to be with mommy and just wants to like chill and follow me around and hang out with me all day and do big girl things. She doesn't like to play. She's never liked toys. Like she's very high maintenance <laughs> and she's very uh, mature for her age. <laughs> so there's that. Then I want to get to doing my... um my 2022 vision board with my cardboard that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. My poster board. I'm sorry. I'm having like a brain fuzz moment right now and forgetting all of my words. I apologize. I feel like I'm thinking about what I'm hearing in the living room and it's like pulling me over there to hear if that's the dog um, whining. So I'm, I'm so sensitive to my dog right now since she's been sick and now is feeling better. I'm like petrified of her getting sick again. But anywho, with the poster boards, I want to get to my vision boards that I never got to do on New Year's Eve because we were at the pet hospital with her. So I picked up some more magazines to scatter on the table from the Dollar Tree. I love these little magazines for only a dollar. I think that they're fantastic. They have great food options in them for cooking, um, decorating your home. They give you all kinds of like really, really cool things to look through. And it's not a bad size magazine for only a dollar. So with these, I'll just scatter it on the table. I don't only have to pull out pictures. You pull out words that might relate to what you're going for in your vision board, cut out the words, incorporate them into your collage. And if you want to start eating better, pick out some food options of pictures that you want to try to cook and make and try in 2022. You can just pull whatever you want out of it for your vision board. Then I picked up this magazine right here. And I thought this was such a beautiful bright colorful like summertime dish looking cover and edible gardens it says 28 fresh and tasty recipes so i want to like walk in that garden right there it looks so calming and soothing so there's that magazine and then small space kitchens 101 easy ideas so this is more of like a home decorating home remodeling type of of um magazine where i can pull a lot of ideas where i'm organizing changing up my rooms and just you know get some ideas from here colors that i might want to change in my house paint my walls like just spruce things up a bit this is a good magazine to look through to pull ideas from so there is that. Then my mom is about to be, I don't know if mom wants me to tell you how old she's about to be, but I don't think her age is bad. 
at all. She's still a spring chicken, but her birthday is coming up. So I grabbed her a little Bible word search puzzle. And I think that this has to be the prettiest one that they have ever come out with. This is so, so beautiful. She loves doing word searches. And I love that it has this little band right here so it can hold her page of where she is inside of the puzzle book. And look at, they even give you coloring pages that you can doodle on. There's the answers in the back. But there are some like adult coloring pages. Let me see if I can find another one. No, I can't. But they had a couple of different styles of these. I had to pick up this one because it looks like stained glass and it's like in a rainbow look to it. So I got that one from mom and I'll just get her some cute pens to go along with it. Then I picked her up these balloons because during our birthdays, I always grab a package of balloons from the Dollar Tree and I blow them up with my hot air. <laughs> I blow them up and I kind of just scatter them around either, you know, the kitchen area and have, you know, breakfast out. And I just kind of decorate so that when people come over or are getting up in the morning, they will walk right into their birthday day. And I thought that these colors inside of this package of balloons was absolutely beautiful. There's 15 latex balloons in here and, and just the pastel colors. Like even if you wanted to pick this up for an Easter, you know, type of celebration that you might be having at your house, these are like perfect Easter colors. And not at my Dollar Tree on this trip, but they do have balloon sticks that you can buy. I believe it's 12 to a package in the party section where the balloons normally are that you can blow up the balloons and put them on the stick. And then they can be like, you know, sticking out of vases. You can decorate like a whole area with these latex balloons and they will actually stay put because they're on a stick. So I think that those are beautiful. I love the party section at the Dollar Tree. What section don't I love? Let's just stop it. <laughs> I love every section. I did pick up these stickers. However, I did get these for me, even though they were kind of like going to be incorporated like in a frame type of setting to decorate the frame and then put her picture in it so I can set it on the table for her birthday. But then I'm going to keep the picture afterwards anyways. And I love these unicorns on here with their beautiful manes of of hair that's all different gorgeous colors they make me so jealous right now this girl needs a rainbow type of makeover i want to feel so good in 2022 i want to feel like a million dollars i need like a whole makeover like head to toe i just need i need a little pampering a little tlc and mama's got to get her groove back because your girls had a rough year <laughs> so we're about to change that in 2022. Then I found this and these are chair decorations, but this is actually like an actual puffy tail of a dinosaur. There were four options of this and I did pick up one just to show you guys, but there were four different colored dinosaur tails that you put around the chair and Velcro on and that is pretty nifty so i picked it up just because it doesn't have to go around a chair i could gift it away as like a toy they could strap it around their waist and just play like you know pretend that they have a dinosaur tail on to like a little kid just hanging out and playing so they had it in three other colors other than just this one which i think is just the dearest thing i've ever seen so if you're having a dinosaur themed birthday party they had an entire section full of dinosaur decorations to set up a birthday party and then they had four different colored dinosaur tails i thought that was pretty awesome for a dollar oh and then it just fell down um then okay the gardening stuff is coming out the gardening stuff i always get at the dollar tree i just i love all their seed options i love their potted um their potting plant pot 
things, you know, all of their terracotta looking plastic pots that you, they have soil, they have the seeds, they have everything that you could possibly need to start a garden. And these gloves are always a must for me. I love them so, so much. These are gardening gloves and they have butterflies all over, all over them. And in the front of my house, I do have a garden. So I need these babies. And then these ones right here, they have the sticky pad on the other side for gripping purposes. And I love the flowers all over this set. So I just think that these are awesome. And then this side, it has the grippy, um, but it doesn't have like the nubs. It's just all grip on this side. So here's the front, all material. And the other side is the sticky side. So you get a good dig in the soil and I love them. I love them. So they had all of their gloves out. Those are the two that I picked for this year. And then I grabbed a stone for the front of my garden, which I haven't picked up in, you know, a couple of years. I had one that I put in my garden forever. But this one just struck me today and I wanted to get it. It is like a stone type of placard and I think it's terribly cute. It says sunshine, laughter, and friends. So that's perfect with the little bumblebee. I love those blue flowers with the little pink center and it's all glittered. So this I think is just terribly cute to put and then I also usually grab some and put them up my stairs with a little plant next to them as you're coming up into my, the front of my, my porch. So I picked that one up and I thought it was really beautiful, but they had several different options in those as well. Then I picked up some socks. I grabbed these socks because I do want to send them in friend mail. I'm making like a little sock basket. These are a woman's size 6 to 12, and this is the Juncture brand, and I loved these for Valentine's Day, even though they weren't in the Valentine's Day section. So here is this pair right here, and then on the other side is this really cool cheetah with some cool shades on with some hearts. So there's this set right here, and then this is women's 5 to 9 from the Juncture brand. And then this is a cute pair of purple with this flamingo and that flamingo is wearing a crown and it's kind of like a little foil, not foil, but like a little, um, addition piece on there with a cute little crown. She is rocking that crown. So I bought those two pairs to send in a friend mail. I also wanted to show you guys, okay, these are the last two things that I'm going to show you for today for a happy Wednesday Dollar Tree haul, but this is definitely a repurchase. I didn't purchase all of them because I still have a few, but these little room sprays right here that I hauled probably like a month ago, the whole entire set of all the ones that are available are hands down the most strong scented room sprays. I make my bed in the morning. I spray my bed. And then when I come back in, maybe like a half an hour later after I'm done with the shower, after I'm done picking up around the house, and I can still smell this lingering in the air. So this is the one that I grabbed to repurchase. But when I find the rest of them, I am going to pick them up again. This is... um fresh uh fragrance for comfort so it just says room mist and these are very small they're only two fluid ounces but they did last me quite a few sprays before it started running out so this with a couple of really cute pillowcases or a sheet set for valentine's day like gift to your mom your grandmother your aunt i don't know if you guys do valentine's day gifts but we kind of do sprinkle them around in our family and our closest friends. And this with a cute little set of sheets is fun and something that I would enjoy getting. So that is that right there. And then, oh my dear, did they not have like a bajillion um, new ribbons that had come out? 
I took lots of pictures. I will share it to my Instagram. So again, if you are not following me yet over on Instagram, please go over. It is Crazy Days of Callan over on Instagram, and I like to share lots of things with you there. So the pictures that I did take of all the ribbon options outside of this one will be posted at some point today. And this is nine feet of ribbon. And look at the beautiful lemons all over here on the vine. So that is a really gorgeous, gorgeous ribbon to make a nice summer wreath. So I picked that up and I was very, very excited about it. Then last but not least, I did grab some more conversation hearts because I've been having a little bit of fun putting them in my Valentine's Day jars and decorating my house for Valentine's Day. So I picked up some more of the bags of conversation hearts. I went back to get more after I hauled for you guys on Monday and they were completely gone. So I went this morning, they had just put some more back out. So I grabbed another two packages and these are just, they're fun. They're pretty, they're vibrant and colorful. They say really endearing things. And then we can enjoy just snacking on them on Valentine's Day if you like that type of a treat. So there we go. There you go. Happy Wednesday Dollar Tree haul. I am so happy to be here with you guys. I love you super duper much. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being here with me, for being such amazing, wonderful people. You warm my heart. You have no idea. I think about you guys when I wake up in the morning. I talk to you guys throughout the day. Sometimes not even on a holiday. I talk to you through Instagram. I talk to you through messages, emails, and I just love all you guys. And my connection to you guys is so important to me. And I'm just so grateful that we have started 2022 all together. We're still growing and I'm so grateful. So continue on. Be happy, healthy, safe, strong, love, blessed, kind to one another. And I will see you guys on Happy Saturday Dollar Tree Haul. I can't wait to come back with you guys. If you want, please subscribe, like, share, comment down below, and hit the bell notification so that you are aware of every single time that I upload a new video. I hope you guys go out, you find all the most wonderful things that you are looking for, and I will see you in a couple of days comment down below. I love talking to you. All right. Bye everyone. Love you.